grandfather faced the judge today, accused of felony child endangerment that resulted in death. Court documents list her name as Areli Doe. The girl's mom, Claudia Hernandez, has already been in jail since early this year, charged with the same crime. The cause of death findings in the recent coroner's report just led detectives to her brother and father, both named Rene Hernandez. And the allegations are horrifying. This case is, is heartbreaking. As we've reported, the family belongs to an offshoot church that rents a room in the 2nd Street home in San Jose. Court documents show the family believes Areli Doe was possessed by demons because she would wake up in the middle of the night screaming and crying. The prosecutor alleges that back in September, the trio held the three-year-old girl down in the church for 12 hours as they performed an exorcism-like ceremony. They allegedly called the authorities two hours after she died. Areli Doe was strangled multiple times to the point of unconsciousness. Areli Doe had fingers shoved down her throat to the point where she had multiple injuries to her mouth and to her tongue. The attorney for the younger Renee says people shouldn't jump to conclusions about the family just because they were arrested. I haven't received. Hello, hello, and welcome back. This is the Afro Humanist. You're absolutely welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so when I upload, new videos you'll be the first one to know about it right guys where do i begin where do i begin with christianity i left christianity for reasons like this and unfortunately a three-year-old has died in the name of christianity again how many more children need to die before people start to wake up and realize that religion are they're just man-made ideas. People make these things up. There are hardly any truths in these religions. I focus on Christianity because I am an ex-Christian. So, this story, a three-year-old in Northern California has died during exorcism, which took place in a church. Three year old, let that sink in. What kind of demons does a three year old over in California have that she would need to be taken to a church to have these demons removed? So is this what your Jesus died for? Is this the, the, the price for becoming a Christian that young children need to lose their lives? It's time that people wake up. The young girl, Areli Naomi Proctor, died last September after her family members performed a ceremony at the Iglesia Apostolis Prophetess, a tiny Pentecostal church in San Jose, because they believed she was possessed by an evil spirit. Two people have been arrested in connection with the death of the three-year-old. The toddler's grandfather, Rene Tigores Hernandez, and her uncle, Rene Hernandez Santos, were arrested this week on charges of child abuse leading to the death of the victim. The girl's mother, Claudia Hernandez Santos, was arrested in January and charged with assault on a child resulting in death. It was not immediately known if the girl's grandfather and uncle had an attorney who could speak on their behalf. According to the court records, Claudia, her mother, told police that she believed that her daughter was possessed because she would wake up and scream or cry periodically. She and her brother brought the child to the church. Hmm. Let, me, let, me, let me say that again, guys. Her mother, Claudia, told the police that she believed her daughter was possessed because she would wake up and scream or cry periodically. She and her brother 
brought the child to the church on the 24th of September 2021 in the early morning to perform an exorcism. She told the police that she attempted to stick her finger down her throat to induce vomiting and that the child fell asleep several times while she pushed down on her throat with her hand. The child's mother is accused of depriving the girl of food and of holding her neck and squeezing it while the grandfather and uncle held the child down. The force on the girl's throat appeared to have left multiple bruises. The sad part is that her mother, Claudia Hernandez Santos, told the police that the family waited two hours before calling police after the child became unresponsive. The grandfather said that he had performed the ceremony on the child to liberate her of her evil spirits. He also said, if you read the Bible, you will see that Jesus cast away demons and made sick people healthy again, he told the newspaper. It is not what I want to do. It's not when I want to do it. It is when God, in his will, wants to heal the people. The preacher is like an instrument of God. What we do is what God says. Santiago Garcia, the owner of the home where the church operates, said he was outside the house while the exorcism was being performed and didn't know what was happening. The grandpa told him that they were praying and they think that by praying, the Holy Ghost will come and save her. The mom said she was trying to squeeze her body to bring her demons out. Very awful. According to members of the church that are associated with the San Jose Church, it is considered an, an outlier due to differences in doctrines and practices. Guys, the differences in doctrines in Christianity. It's terrible. Guys, the problem with Christianity, two Christians cannot have the same doctrines. Ask two Christians, same question, you get two different answers. Everyone interprets the book however they wish. Someone here in this particular story, they said, a church rooted in God has nothing to do with exorcisms at all. You can't mix that stuff with God. Those things are satanic. I thought they were trying to remove the Satan out of people. The people who are performing the exorcisms are trying to re remove the Satan out of people. Now you're saying that it is satanic to even be performing. Christianity is a messed up religion. App apparently in this church, it was not, it is not common at all in the church and they don't practice it. But yet it went on. It still went on. How many more children need to die before people start to realize the lies that have been told in Christianity, the false, uh, the falsehood in Christianity? How many more? We want to read three year olds of witchcraft, of evil spirits. There's something wrong somewhere. Who is going to clean up Christianity? The fact that Jesus does nothing. The fact that all this is done in the name of Christ, God and uh, the Holy Spirit, while they do nothing, they sit there, that's if they exist. God the Father, Son and Spirit exist. The fact that they sit there and do nothing tells me either they don't exist or they are not worth anything to be reckoned with. Until that's proven otherwise it's time to ditch christianity it's time to ditch religion altogether it is better to have your children alive and not believe in this evil spirit trying to attack christians leave these children alone 
And if your God is so big, mighty, and powerful, why can your God not save you? If, if indeed there are demons trying to attack you, why can your God not save you? It's time you know and hear the truth. Some of you might not like what I'm saying, but hey, you know I'm speaking the truth. These people who claim to be seeing these demons and seeing all these things, what evidence do they have? Apart from what's written in their ancient book. Goodness. My condolences go to the people. Oh, it's so sad because the people who are supposed to love this three-year-old are the ones who took her to where she will be killed in the name of their, their, their Christianity. It's so sad. My condolences go to the people who truly love this girl, not the ones who killed her. They deserve to be punished. And hopefully, while they are receiving this punishment, they'll wake up and realize that Christianity is just nothing but falsehood, lies. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you like the contents, of this video and other videos on my channel please make sure to subscribe make sure to spread the message by sharing and put your comments in the comment section let's interact let's talk about exposing the lies and the falsehood of christianity together we can do this christianity has had a field time the pastors get rich they take and take and take so much money, yet children die. Innocent people lose their lives. This three-year-old has died because they're trying to rid her of evil. What evil spirits? What kind of evil spirit does a three-year-old have? Wake up, people. Come on. Guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.